I'm Max. So for me, it was something that I had had to live with for the entirety of my teenage life, and I am almost 100% sure it's something that everyone watching this video has felt as well, and probably most of you are still feeling. Now, this video isn't necessarily talking about being alone, because alone time can be good. This video is specifically talking about uh, the dictionary definition I just read. Now, I'm going to apologize in advance if this video gets a little too emo or gay for you. I'm sorry about that. But this is a topic that I really want to talk about, and I know it's something you guys and girls deal with probably quite often. If there was a good way to describe it, I'd say that it's like being the third wheel in a relationship, except there is no relationship or two other people. It's just by yourself. It's the absolute worst when you're just sitting in isolation or even at a place with a lot of people and you have absolutely no one to share your thoughts with or someone to hear your words or even a person that can just be next to you, keeping you warm from the cold, empty feeling you get inside. But yeah, it's so fucking hard to be us because we are the ones who want to feel loved and be loved and give love. And yet, that's not what we get. In turn, we get to watch as all of these undeserving pieces of shit, assholes and bitches and dicks and jocks and sluts, getting all of the attention they could ever want and not even appreciating it. People like us would kill for that. And yet they just blow it off like it's nothing. And I remember seeing all this and being, wow, well, I guess this is what the world is like. I guess I'm just too boring and too ugly and too weak and too pathetic and too weird to ever be liked by another human being. Because, I mean, using that thought process, you kind of start to think that you deserve to be ignored just because that's how evolution works. Mates need a strong and powerful and good-looking individual, and I just wasn't any of those things by any stretch of the imagination. Despite the few facts that, according to what I was told, may be bearable, I was a very nice guy, maybe I was a little funny, uh, and probably had a few unique things about me, but no one would ever care enough to actually find out those things about me, so... In turn, I was just an outcast that no one ever knew anything about. Being ignored and unnoticed possesses a terrible amount of sadness that crawls up your sleeve when it happens. Like, I remember back when I had a Facebook and my old Twitter account and I had followed people from my school. Uh, you want to know how many likes and replies my tweets and posts got? You can probably guess the exact number if a lot of you already go through that. But yeah, it was zero. Despite the fact that I had added people who I thought were my friends and who I thought would like the stuff that I posted, but I guess not. I'll even show you guys some of the things that I used to post at a later date to see if what I was doing back then was actually uninteresting or they were just purposely not liking and replying to what I posted so they wouldn't get caught in a conversation with someone as ugly as me. And what sucked even more was when someone who was popular or good looking in school posted something right after or right before you did, and you see your mutual friends liking and talking to them, but not you. It sincerely was debilitating seeing that. It even got to the point where even getting a singular text message would make my heart skip. I remember the long hours and perpetual suffering just constantly waiting to get a reply, and it broke my heart every time, because they never did. And. Even when you do nice stuff for people, or you're doing favors for everyone, or you're trying your absolute best to win the hearts of people, they give you like a very momentary praise, if even that, and then it's almost like they don't talk to you again, and you're like, wow, that really worked. I got a compliment for something I spent time and effort into and nothing else. Fuck that. I remember back when I thought I had friends, I would always be there for them, whether it be doing their homework, or doing them a favor, or just being someone they can vent to. And then when I ask, you want to hang out? Or, can you talk right now? You know exactly what they'd say. Oh, sorry, I'm busy. And it felt like that every time. And you know that the only thing you could reply is, oh, okay, sorry. Because if you even dare to question why they always seem to have some kind of excuse to reject anything you ask for, you can consider yourself dead to them because they don't need you, right? They don't need me. And it's true, they didn't need me. Like, seriously, all we have is basically music, movies, TV shows, and video games. All lifesavers, really, and we really appreciate them. It just sucks 
that you have no one there playing or watching with you. And that thought always comes back up. Like every time I play a game, I'm just like, man, I really wish I had a girlfriend to lay my head on as I feel their warmth while she watches in awe as I'm slaying all these demons and orcs and yeah. But I'm sure y'all know that feel. And despite the fact that there are over 7 billion humans on the earth right now, and despite the fact that statistically over millions of other humans are more than compatible with my personality, I can't help but feel like every time I end up meeting one of them, I end up fucking it up. Because why else would I have lived on the earth for almost two decades and still find myself crawling back home with no one besides myself? And of course, all of this perpetual loneliness is a road to one very specific place that a lot of us have lived inside or are still living in. Depression, though, is going to be a topic for another day, though. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure a fuck ton of us know about that. Anyways, it's just so horrible having no one to cuddle with when you feel undesirable. No one to give you a hug when you really want one. No one to tell you it's going to be okay when you really need to hear it. No one to even share one singular deep thought with. But guess what? You are not the only one feeling lonely. Everything that I just said was me speaking from my experiences in my own life. I know what the fuck loneliness feels like and I know that we all suffer from different degrees of it, but do not think for a fucking second that you have it the worst. Because I guarantee you there is a girl or a guy out there who has it way worse than you do who is just waiting for someone like you for them to emphatically the door the shit out of. You'd fucking cry if you could actually see the amount of people that are attracted to you and vice versa. You've absolutely no idea how large the world is if you can't see that. Now being that a lot of you are teenagers and young adults who don't have the freedom to just go out and start looking for people to love and people to love you back, I'm not going to tell you that's going to happen tomorrow or even soon, but please trust in the words of a friend. From me to you, I am telling you that loneliness does not last forever. And for teenagers, it is usually at its peak. And I know some of you will say stuff like, but I like loneliness, or I was born in the dark, molded by it, or some other gay ass emo shit. So unless you are suffering from some kind of brain tumor or severe mental disease, then just fucking listen to what I am saying to you. Trust me, once your life starts filling with happiness, you do not want to go back. And I promise you that there are actual living, breathing human beings out there who want to get to know you and talk to you and hug you and cuddle with you and kiss you and share their lives with you. You seriously are more deserving of it than you could possibly know. All I did was make a random ass YouTube video about Leafy for no other reason than the fact that I was bored and now and I'm not bullshitting you here. I have to keep myself from crying during my live streams just because I can see how beautiful it is to see the amount of friends I have talking to me and keeping me completely safe from loneliness. It really is momentous to me that you guys have happened in my life and I promise you that it will happen for you as long as you start doing something about it. And I know some of you will ask, well what should I do? And just like me, you're going to have to figure that out for yourself. Because everyone's life and scenarios and personalities and everything is fucking different. I can't tailor make an entire guidebook for every individual that watches this video. All I can tell you is to just do something. And trust me, at first it may yield no results, but you'll get better. And then at some point, your best will finally be good enough. You'll see. Thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you guys liked it. I know it's something a lot of y'all needed to hear, and I know it's something that I would have liked to hear as um, uh, as a lonely person. So uh, I really hope it helped out. I really, I really don't want y'all feeling lonely. I want y'all to be loved, you know. And uh, I hope I can give you a bit of that. Oh, um, I'm sorry if the topic today was a little gay or stupid or whatever you edgy kids want to call it, but um. I'm sorry about that if it bothered any of you that I'm, I'm kind of serious during these videos. Uh, but do not worry, um, I'm still making funny videos. Um, I'll even try making funny Life Sucks videos, like Life Sucks Rice Gum or something like that, you know. Um, I, fi I found it kind of funny how I, had a, I didn't have a girlfriend before I started writing the script for this video. and. Uh, <laughs> now Twigs is my girlfriend after um, 
working on this video, I found that kind of funny just because it kind of gives this video a bit more meaning, um, showing that I, uh, I just did what I wanted to do with my life, and uh, it turned out all good, and she is more than worth the wait, and I am certain that you guys will, you guys and girls will, uh, find a special friend that you'll be able to talk to and stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, I did not, I did not think I would ever get a girlfriend for the entirety of my life, just because this, I didn't feel like I was that kind of person, because I was just like, oh, forever alone. I want y'all to thank Chad for making these beautiful drawings in the video, um, and there's another person who made a few of the drawings that doesn't want to be credited, <laughs> she knows who she is, um, and, um, I also want to thank Joel Nielsen, if that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure if I pronounced it right, but Joel Nielsen, he's the guy who made the, uh, the song for the end of this video, uh, the, the, the emotional song that was playing after the, uh, but guess what part, um, yeah, the Black Mesa song, it was really good, he's a great artist, go check him out, uh, he's great, um, Shad's great, Twigs is great, and y'all are fucking great, okay. I love you guys so much. Um, hang in there if you're feeling lonely. I promise you, it'll get better. All right? Okay. Toodles.